So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on him, because I'm not sure the bartender's gonna hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom just starts pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Nah. Sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got the moment. Oh. Jeffrey, you've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw. Send him to the hospital. Jesus. Yeah, tough a locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom, I don't know. There's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. But Don wants to win. But more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. From Europe, we got the hot shot favorite, Martin Lichtenberg, taking some time out of the International Series to compete with us today. Got some news from the grid here. Lost Heaven local favorite Mikey Dunn is out. Replacing him is, uh, Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. They're lined up on the grid. They're ready to start.
Schumer, Tommy Angelo is still out in front. Tommy! There's <laughs> our winner. Hey, Tom. Just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You made us all a lot of money today. And Morello's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. Hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. <sighs> Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. Up, boys. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and whores. Something, huh? Cheers. Nah, but uh, maybe I'll buy my ma a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> there. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy Polly. He's so drunk, he's gonna get hit by a parked car. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll get him home safe. Holly and the rest of your pals have drunk through half my bar already. You found him yet? That's all for another year, folks. Yo, mama made that look easy to the Tommy. When they just started racing here 20 years ago, most guys did, did, didn't even make the finish. Ah, magic's in the motor, Ralph. I just showed her where to go. Hey, you seen Paulie? No, no. He said he was uh, uh, hungry or something. Okay. You enjoy yourself. My hero. You're a natural wheel man, Tom. You seen Polly anywhere, Vin? He said he was gonna go eat to soak up the boots. But I never seen cannolis come that big. That win just put my daughter through another year at school, Tom. Hey, anything for the Coletis. Well, enjoy the moment. But the deal with Polly before he embarrasses himself and the family. I will not let the boss's day end sourly. You don't have to worry, Frank. I'll find it. Great race, champ. I've been asked by the LHPD to remind all racegoers that the sale and consumption of alcohol is strictly prohibited. An arrest will be made. Thank you. This your first time at the track? Last year I heard the motors from my apartment, but that's as close as I've gotten before. They'll start to try to clear How'd you drive after the tuna? Tried to go sidelong at a five brick walls, but we made it. You seen Polly any place? I came by five minutes ago, maybe. Looked like it had a smell from the barrel. Sounds about right. Thanks, Lucas. Great runs, 
great race, champ. Hey, last time I saw you drive like that, Tom, I had a gun to your head. You saying there wasn't one today? <laughs> when our side of town is drowning in dough, that means you're safe. Hey, you seen Polly? Guy soused. Came through walking sideways. Yeah, I heard. I'd ask again that people please leave when requested and refrain from imbibing illicit substances. Let's not make it like last year, folks. Oh, thank Christ you're here. If your friend keeps this up, the other guy's gonna send the cops over. Yeah, I think Polly's big day at the track's over. Cow says moo, and the chicken says quack. What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect! Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home, too before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay then. I guess. <laughs> Let's go, Jim. <laughs> Today, Tommy, with the, the driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? What did you say, Polly? I said this guy can drive, Don Salieri. This is a guy who can drive. And here we are. Here we are. Right here. That's where we are. You put me to shame, Tom. Look at you. Now you're even a some kind of race car driver. We all got our You're doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That right, huh? You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the dawn and your mind's racing. Then some bad shit, Tom. We're all in this together. I do what the Don asks when he asks it. Just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Blank it out like Sam does. Go home to... <laughs> wherever the hell he goes home to. Hey, Polly, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own sakes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, I want to go with the lady. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. Take me to the ladies! Take me to the Blue Tropics. I don't know. I ought to take you home. The bridge. Take the bridge over to the island. Take me to the ladies! Take me to those sweet patooties. I don't know. Taking you home seems more classy. All right, now we're talking. Oh, boy. You should see these dames, Tom. I'll leave it to you to swim with the Barracudas, Polly. You're gonna have to tell me where the hell I'm driving. You don't know? I don't know. It's... there's a blue sign. You're gonna need more than that. There's a blue sign, and it says Blue Tropics, and it's right near the docks. <sighs> Figures. Check a map or something. Uh, home? Brought me home. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe that. Yeah. A good idea. Yeah. Well, okay, I'm gonna. Sweet dreams, tough guy. Uh, I'm gonna. Y yeah. I, I don't feel so good.
Yeah, that's the cold thumb. You want anything else? Nah, I'm heading home. Hey, Tom, uh, before you go, I ask maybe a small favor. Huh? Sure, Luigi, what do you need? Walk in my daughter room. Sarah? The <laughs> way I hear it, she doesn't need any kind of escort. <laughs> yeah, she's, uh, she's a tough. This is a pack of boys in need of her place. Uh, the punks, you know, cattivi ragazzi. They talk blue, make advances. Sarah, she's gonna speak at the mind. But maybe she says a somber thing they don't like. Things that get ugly. But if you're working at home, this is a reminder of this punk, she's the dawn's a goddaughter. No problem, Luigi. I'd be honest. <laughs> Benny. Sarah, the time is to close. What's this then? Uh, Tom is. Uh, Tom's gonna take you. That right. Hey, I just work here. Make sure nobody bother you. Fine. If it'll make you feel better, Pop. Hey. I'll see you tomorrow. Let me get my coat. I'll wait for you outside. Okay. I don't need anyone walking me home. Hey, we were talking about meeting up tonight anyway. I guess. And you can quit worrying about what he's gonna think. But not the point, Tom. He treats me like a kid sometimes. Hey, I get it. He's protective. He's seen things. We've all seen things. You know, we gotta talk about you stealing food. Hey. I cook it, so I get to say where it goes. Molly well, won't thank you. Well, maybe tomorrow's finally gonna be the day he fixes his own breakfast. Could you knock on the door? Only got so many hands here. Yeah, though it's not as much as last time. It's enough. Nona thinks you're an angel. The Dawn hates seeing food go to waste. And this? This has got to be Tammy. Sarah told us all about you. That right. You're a famous race driver, Tom. Everyone talks about you. Yeah, she's right. They do. Well, anyways, don't let the cold in, Juliet. I'll see you at church. All right. Have a great evening. Night. Buena noche, Tommy. Hey, Mama. Your angel Sarah brought more food. It's nice you do that. That? Well, a lot of hungry people on this block. Yeah. Well, it's, um, uh, it's a good night for a walk, anyway. Don't get yourself killed on my account, Tom. I try to avoid it. That's all you got? You spend all this time with a lady killer like Sam Trapani, and the best line you got is, good night for a walk anyways? <laughs> well, it is, ain't it? Yeah, I guess so. Flowers for the lady, signore? Nah, we're good. Now I don't get flowers? Well, you let me take you on a real date and not some walk home for Luigi. Then you get the flowers. Eh, that could happen. If Pop's not gonna stop me seeing one of you, I think he knows anyway. Luigi? Nah. These guys have been creeps to me for weeks. But I didn't tell you as I know what you like. I mentioned it to Dad this one time, and all of a sudden he gets you to be my knight in shining armor. So yeah, 
he knows. Huh. Well, like I say, means there's no problem with me. If he did, you wouldn't last long. I know what happened to all the other guys I dated. I helped hide the bodies. Yeah. So now we are. I've been trying to keep you safe, Tommy Angelo. All this time. Hey, let's go someplace. Tomorrow night, maybe. The pictures, maybe. You can get your flowers. That'd be good. Oh! Hey there, darling! Are you stepping out on us? Piss off. <laughs> Don't cast the kitten doll face. We'll let your boyfriend watch. What do you say? We going to have trouble here. Trouble started back when you tried to steal our girl, Chief. You saps aren't careful. You'll end up in wooden overcoats. <laughs> Last chance to walk away. We ain't frails. We know who you work for. Salieri might have been the big six when he was younger, but he's all washed up now. Mm -hmm. It's only a matter of time before Morello punches his ticket. <laughs> I don't need Salieri. Or anyone else. Not for this. <laughs> well, <laughs> then let's see what you got, cake eater. Mm. Where you going, <clears throat> her sweet cheeks? <clears throat> Back off! Billy <clears throat> Trey, you're <clears throat> some kind of dish, ain't ya? <clears throat> Get away from me! <clears throat> Twist my face, <clears throat> wasting <clears throat> on that creature. <clears throat> Get him, Billy! <clears throat> skin go all the way up, huh? <clears throat> now hope you're better than your friends Good right hook, I'll give you that. You're bleeding. Come up to my place, I'll take a look. Well, you gonna come in and take a load off, or what? I wonder when you'd invite me up. The bank's closed, Slugger. I'm just gonna patch you up is all. Now go sit down on the couch, roll up your sleeve. I'm getting my sewing kit. Doesn't look too bad. You need something for the pain? No, I'm fine. You don't have to do that. What? I can see it fucking hurts, Tom. You wanna pretend it don't go ask Polly to staple you up. What do you get? Compliments of the Don. <laughs> T 
take another. <sighs> All right. You gonna grin and bear this? Yeah, I'll be okay. Good. I don't need the little old lady next door complaining to the super about all the racket. Just be quick about it, will ya? It's gonna take as long as it takes. The sloppier the stitch, the uglier the scar. That right. You stitched up a lot of fellas. Just my father. Ma would really go after Luigi sometimes. He got pretty good at ducking dinner plates. So one day she stabbed him with her knitting needle. Right through the hand. What for? Cuz. She was an ugly, jealous drunk. There. Not my best work, but it'll hold. The scar will be something to remember you by, if nothing else. <laughs> You're staying over. Can't have you stumbling through the neighborhood pie-eyed. Not when them hoods are out looking for you anyways. Yeah, okay. You got an extra blanket or something? No. And the heat's out. That's up though.